In this tutorial, I'll show you how to convert this train animation so that it runs in the NLA editor. The sound will come from a speaker object and the scene will work inside a web browser. The starting point for this tutorial is this animation of a toy train that I made in my train series of tutorials. You can download the file SmokeTut45A from my website or you can make the animation by following the tutorials. The first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the smoke system which consists of a smoke domain, press X to delete it, and a funnel object which is the smoke emitter, press X. Next, I'm going to apply any scale values to the train. Apply scale. Do that for the engine and all the carriages. Select in the object menu, apply scale. Object, apply scale. In the animation, it appears as though the engine follows the track pulling the carriages. What is actually happening is the engine is following a path. The animation system is curve animation and with the curve selected we can see its keyframes. The engine doesn't pull the carriages, each carriage follows the path independently. Curve animation is not supported so we have to convert the animation to a different system. In the object menu, animation, bake animation, set the frame step to two and click visual keying, clear constraints and clear parents, OK. And we get a set of keyframes for the location and rotation of the engine as it goes around the track. Do the same for the carriages, object, animation, bake action, Blender remembers the settings, click OK. I've jumped ahead to do the last carriage. Object, animation, bake animation, OK. Now we don't need the Bezier curve, select it and press X to delete it. Drag to make the timeline window bigger. Drag on the white diagonal lines to open up a new window and change the new window to an NLA editor window. Select the engine. Notice the keyframes in the timeline window. Click the push down button. Notice the keyframes have been replaced by a strip in the NLA editor. Click the push down button for the carriages. To run the animation in a web browser, change Blender Render to Blend for Web. Click the Render button, click Set Recommended Options. Click the Scene button, click NLA and Cyclic NLA and click Fast Preview. The animation runs in the browser window, but there is no sound. Change the NLA editor window to a video sequence editor window. In the view menu, I don't want to show seconds, I want to show frames along the x-axis. Sound from the video sequence editor is not supported, so I'm going to replace these strips with a speaker object. Before I do that, I'm going to use the video sequence editor as a sound file editor. This is the sound effect of the train as it travels from the first stop to the second stop. This is the train whistle. This is the train travelling from the second stop back to the start. This is the whistle. Press X to delete both the second strips. The train takes 120 frames to travel from the first stop to the second stop. Set the total length of the animation to 120 frames and change Blend for Web back to Blender Render. Click the Render button, click Audio. Click 
container and there are a range of sound file formats. First I went for MP3 because everybody knows MP3 but for some reason it didn't work. I tried WAV and OG, both worked and OG is recommended by blend for web so I'm going to click OG. Give the sound file a meaningful name, I'm going to call it Train2 and click Mix Down. Change Blender Render back to Blend for Web and set the total length of the animation back to 260. We don't need the strips in the video sequencer anymore but if I delete them and click Fast Preview there is a warning. So I'll show you how to delete them at the end of the tutorial. Change the window back to an NLA editor window. To add sound to the scene in the Add menu, Add Speaker. Click the Speaker Properties button and change the speaker behavior to background sound. Click the Open button and select the train2.og file that we created and open. Select the soundtrack strip and duplicate, hold down shift, press D and enter and move the duplicate so that it starts at frame 125. Click fast preview And we get our 3D animation with sound effects and a green light to say that it loaded OK. I will show how to delete the scene action and the strips in the video sequencer as a postscript to this tutorial. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the start file and the end file for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the link. Thanks for watching and goodbye. If you're still watching, to delete the strips in the video sequence editor without getting a yellow warning light, click the push down button for the scene action, select the strip, click the plus to display its properties, Click the X to delete the link with the scene action and press X to delete the strip. Change the window to a video sequence editor. Select the strips and press X to delete them. And change the window back to an NLA editor window. Tidy up the editor by pressing X to delete unused tracks. And it's always a good idea to pack external files like the sound clip into the Blender file. Click on the border to select the camera. Press G for grab, Z for the Z axis and Z for Z local and drag with the mouse to move the camera back. I found when viewing the scene the Z target location needed an adjustment of minus five. Click Fast Preview. The scene is more centered and we get a green light.